Hey guys, today on Crafty Friday, I'm going to show you how to make some heart-shaped lip balm. Mwah! For this recipe, I'm using all natural ingredients, which include coconut oil, beeswax, and shea butter. Don't worry if you don't have one of these ingredients or you'd rather use another type of oil, that's totally fine. I just want to show you guys a healthy, moisturizing lip balm in this video. If you're having a hard time finding lip gloss containers, you can check the bead section at your local craft store, also dollar stores and other random places might have little containers maybe in the medicine aisle or in the crafting section so that's a good place to check if you are searching for containers you could also use empty mint containers such as Altoids or if you don't like putting on your lip gloss with your finger or a lip brush and you would rather just kind of go like this then you can use an empty Burt's Bees or any type of chapstick container that you have or you could purchase an empty one from Amazon if you like this project, then please give the video a big thumbs up, and if you want to see my videos in your subscription box every week, then just click subscribe. Now let's get started on the Heart Lip Balm. To a glass container, I'm adding a half teaspoon of organic beeswax. one teaspoon of organic coconut oil, and one teaspoon of pure organic shea butter. Now create a double boiler by putting about a half inch of water into a pan and turning the burner to medium heat. Stir the mixture until you get a liquid. Keep in mind that the beeswax takes a little bit longer to melt than the other ingredients. Now I'm placing a heart cookie cutter into a clean plastic lip gloss container. Carefully spoon the liquid around the shape, making sure that it doesn't move. You can actually do any shape that you want, and if you don't have a cookie cutter, maybe try a shaped piece of wood, a shaped eraser, or create your own shape out of a thick piece of plastic or anything else that you can think of. Carefully move the gloss to the fridge so it can cool and harden completely. Now comes time to add some color to the mix. I'm using some Burt's Bees Pomegranate Balm, but you can use your favorite natural pigment, or if you don't really care about having a natural product, then just use any type of lip product that you want. Gently remove the shape from the cooled gloss and get ready to put some color inside. Not gonna lie, I used a syringe and this happened. But I quickly wiped the splatters with the tissue and you can't even tell. The recipe I used is fairly smooth and glossy, but if you want your lip gloss to be more firm, go ahead and add more beeswax. Just not too much or it will be too waxy, but if you make a mistake, you can always take the lip gloss out of the container and remelt it. Also, you can add oils to give your lip gloss some flavor. Here I'm showing you orange oil and vanilla, which doesn't dissolve completely, so that's kind of weird. but I still poured it in the tube, and here is what it looks like when it hardens. If you make your own lip gloss, shaped or not, I wanna see, so show me a picture on Instagram using hashtag SoCraftastic in the caption. Also, if you have any questions or video requests, leave them in the comment section below. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Last week here on So Craftastic, I did some DIY rainbow popsicle soap. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. Link in the description box below. And if you want to be reminded every single time I post a video, which is every single Friday and sometimes throughout the week, then please click subscribe and my videos will show up in your subscription box and you will never miss one, ever. If you want to creep on my social media, all those links are in the description box as well. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'll see you very soon. Bye! The lip balm is pretty sheer. The color is kind of just there for decoration, but if you add a ton of pigment, I'm sure you could get tinted lip balm. Personally, I prefer to have my lip gloss in a tube or the EOS container because I like to put it on without touching it. But if you are using a lip gloss container like this, you could definitely use a lip brush and just kind of keep it at your house instead of using it for your purse because I don't want to touch lip gloss when my hands are dirty and I'm out and about. Every single week I ask you guys to submit pictures using Instagram, hashtag SoCraftastic. Here are all the lovely creations you guys sent in. Thank you so much. I really enjoy seeing what you create. Was that upside down? Right side, right side, ready, go. Ah! <laughs> Don't know what that was.